Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy of Van Otten Company. It's Tuesday, January 17th. I'm going to go over the markets with you. A positive trade here in these grain markets and meat markets. You had very supportive trade on the U.S. dollar being down about 89 cents majority of the day. That came off the heels of the fact that you have some issues going on with uh, the U.K. and their Brexit. They're really struggling through that. They need to make a decision how to do this and how to go. Uh, it sounds like maybe they're looking at a clean cut and just separating completely versus trying to make a deal between the two of them. And that's having things shake up as far as those outside markets go. So you had a little bit of support. You had follow through trade here into these soybeans as well on a technical chart. They are looking supportive. Argentina got some rain over the weekend that looked to be uh, some larger amounts in some areas that are a little bit wet. Most of that is localized and they only got about two to four inches of, of soybeans and it's the beginning of really the growing season. So they're not even completely finished planting yet. Uh, and so that was enough to support these trades, but they did fail about 1075 on March futures. That's about the same level we failed at last uh, November we're going to need some additional fundamental news to support us and push us through that. Uh, it, the forecast looks favorable for South America as far as that um, those conditions go. It looks like those soggy areas of Argentina might not even see moisture for another couple weeks and so that would be beneficial towards those crops. So there's a lot of growing season left in Argentina uh, where Brazil is starting to harvest some of those northern areas. Uh, so very dynamic growing seasons here going on and really pushing the soybean market with soybeans higher and those friendly outside markets. Both wheat and corn also came along for the ride, corn being up about seven. Uh, the wheat market actually was probably the biggest mover of the day being uh, a bit higher here earlier to start the day. Minneapolis wheat at one point up 15, actually down 15 at one point as well. Uh, and closing just slightly lower, anywhere from about five to 12 cents lower as far as Minneapolis wheat goes. But both Kansas City and Chicago stayed supportive. Uh, those meat markets, you know, spent majority of the day slightly positive for cattle, slightly negative here for lean hogs. But by the end of the day, those outside markets were enough to just push it a little bit higher. Live cattle closing up about a buck, feeders up 75, lean hogs up about 35 cents. So nothing too major going on there. Uh, Nopa Crush came out, didn't look the friendliest as far as the oil side of things goes. Uh, meal was supportive though as exports came in higher than expected. Um, so you had some mixed reactions out of there, but that was probably, probably the driving force to push beans off their high, closing about six to seven cents off their high. Moving forward, what we're going to be watching export sales. going to be one of the biggest things to look for this week. Uh, we've had very limited um, private sales announcements in soybeans. We've had one since uh, December 21st. And so we're going to need to see how these export sales in. We need to keep demand up uh, to really push these uh, carryout levels a little bit smaller and keep that demand around. Uh, otherwise, really, it's just how conditions are in South America to drive those beans. I do have to close with the disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk loss. May not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.